when we moved into this rental property I thought oh, I'm not going to be in the mood to decorate and stuff because it's not really where I want to be. Oh, they look like thin poles. How much was this veil? What a fine jacket collection you have there, sir. I do, yes. I want even my car cleaned before I put the decks up. I just want a bit of a soul cleanse, you know? <laughs> First sign of Christmas. First bit of Christmas shopping done. Look at this beautiful little poochie. Sylvia's going to be so jealous. Sunshine babes. Where's my washing basket? Look at that. I've just took it downstairs because it was full. Gorgeous. Let's go then. Let's go. Let's go, skincare girly. What's on your Christmas list this year? That. She's actually already done a Christmas list, Jess. Ooh, quick spray, quick spritzy. Growing up so fast. What did you spray there? Which scent? Yeah. Sol de Janeiro number. Or was it Rio Radiance? Yeah. Oh, nice. Ooh, look at my little doormat. Bonjour, my little plants. It's not, you'll be fine once you get in dance. Look, I decided to put them at the side of the um, door in the end. Morning, friends. Oh, gosh, I feel a bit trusted up. Got in the car this morning, I was like, Nancy, have you been messing with my seat? It felt different. And then I realized I've got winter clothes on. I've got like a... Um, like a jumpsuit, boiler suit, whatever you want to call it, all in one denim. I like it, khaki situation. I like it. I love a jumpsuit because it just takes the thought out of outfit planning, you know? It's literally done. That is it. Stick a pair of trainers on, pair of boots, whatever you want. Complete. Effortless. But I just feel a bit ooh, restricted and also... The annoying thing about them is when you want to just like adjust your nicks and stuff, such a faff, isn't it? And it's awkward weather today because, I mean, we're in November and the sun's decided to come out and shine, which is lovely. But it just makes you think, have I dressed appropriately today? Because it now feels like summer again. But anyway, good morning, everyone. I have just dropped Nancy off at dancing, Seth's at school doing half a day. Uh, Ryan's at work and I have just parked up in Can City Centre. Not been for a couple of weeks because it's been the school holidays. So this is my first dance run in a couple of weeks and it's going to be very different because it's going to be Christmas in Can. Soon comes around. It's literally going to be like all Christmas stuff in the shops. Am I feeling ready? No. But you literally can't escape it with social media, with YouTube and everything. Christmas content begins as soon as Halloween's passed. And it's like, ah, you're not allowed to just enter the phase when you feel ready anymore. Um, to be honest, I'm quite looking forward to it. And when we moved into this rental property, I thought, oh, I'm not going to be in the mood to decorate and stuff because it's not really where I want to be. But I've passed that phase. Like, home's wherever Ryan and the kids are and the dogs and you know you can make anywhere feel cozy and homely and I actually haven't mind like the place where we're at so far it's felt just really relaxed easy everything we need so I'm looking forward to getting the tree up um not putting two up this year uh I'm just gonna go with one haven't decided which one I think I better ask the kids. The kids will have their tree in their room, obviously. Um, what I mean is I'm putting one of my trees up, like one main one in the front room, because usually I have two. 
know if you remember, but I have the crazy bonkers, nostalgic, all going on multicolored tree. And then I have the more romantic, girly, thought out, um, soft, you know, stylish tree. So stark contrast. To be honest, thinking about the room, it's like got these pale leather sofas in there. It's all white walls. If I'm thinking about it from like a like an interior styling point of view, I would probably go with the the soft, creamy, pinky, whitey one. But it's Christmas, and we're not about matching right now. And I think we're going to end up going with the crazy tree because anything goes on that one. That's my favourite one that I like getting decorations for. It's an exciting tree and I think the kids will choose that one as well, to be honest. And all the little ornaments and stuff that I've got, like the Lamax Christmas decorations and everything else, like that all matches with that tree. So I think I've already made my mind up actually whilst I've been talking about it to you. I think we're going to go crazy tree. Um, but before decorating begins, before I can even process it, I do need big sort out few things ticking off my head list just a bit of a cleanse like even though i've done lots of sorting and organizing since we moved into this property and you'd think we'd be settled there's still bits to do like the back spare room is full of ryan's stuff because bless him he's got the least like rail space uh, and nancy actually she hasn't really got much rail space so she's got a clothing rail in that spare room with her bits on and Ryan's stuff is put away as much as possible but he hasn't really got much room so he's ordered a rail a clothing rail which should be coming tomorrow which means we can have a good sort out in that room and I just want a deep clean I want to get sugar booked in the groomers she needs a cut I don't book both dogs in all the time because Sylvia is very low maintenance she only needs a nails cut in from time to time whereas sugar she actually has to get a full grooming session hair cut and everything so that one's doing I want even my car cleaned before I put the decks up I just want a bit of a soul cleanse you know but first of all I'm going to go and have a look in the city, not been for a couple of weeks, see what there is, yeah, exciting, who's ready, this time of year just comes around so, so quick, so quick, but our flights are sorted, our travel's all booked and organised, um, so yeah, hopefully it's going to be a smooth one. First sign of Christmas! A Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, look at this, Gerard Darrell. I've done my bag but in the winter version. How lovely is that? Was that nice, honey? Home for dinner. Home for dinner. You can't, can't beat it. A steak for me snap. Could you get a little bit? Hey. Kicked his ball over again. I'm sure you do it on purpose. What? So you can be a boy and climb. You can go yeah. and investigate. Hey, I just to the neighbour's garden. Oh. I'll chuck it over. How was your day at school? We are going food shopping. We are literally desperate for some basics. We've got like a freezer full of meals, but we've got no fruit in the fruit bowl. The fridge is looking very bare. So we're going to go and get a little food shop. 
What are you hoping to see at the supermarket? Weezy's Advent calendars. Advent calendars. I've seen them all already. They're all in the shops. I don't know if I've seen Reese's though. I don't think so, but we can have a look. Ooh, what an exciting time of year. Hey, when do you want to decorate for Christmas? Now. Now. Well, do you know what? I actually want lots of cleaning products from the supermarket as well because I'm a little bit low and you know tomorrow guys tomorrow we are having whilst the kids are at school we're having a cleaning mission like a deep clean Santa Claus is coming to town <laughs> Shall you have a as look? We're getting closer. Can you see any Reese's on here? No. Let me maybe check. We've got lint. We've got all the kiddie bits. More advent. Oh, there's advent calendars in the middle section over there, actually. Lots of kinder. Maybe they've not got them all in stock yet. Maybe we're a little bit early. Lots of kinder. Oh, wow. I bet they're sensational. Oh, Milka. Ooh, we've got a Toblerone one. Seth loves Toblerone. Look. Toblerone advent calendar. Oh, yeah. Maybe Seth will like that one. Yeah. But then if he sees you with the Reese's one, I think he'll want the Reese's. It's not couple months old. That one looks interesting. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, there's even an after eight advent calendar. Back from food shopping. I have got my pyjamas on instantly. As soon as we walked through the door, I've got my little helper here who's spreading all the stuff over the kitchen sides. Eating, yes, I heard a crunch. I was like, Nancy, have you got a biscuit in your mouth? You want a grape. You want a grape? Nancy's just been putting these biscuits away. We keep these biscuits in these jars and they go in this like little alcovey bit here. Like that. One, two. These like Italian biscuits. They're rather lovely actually. I have had quite a few before but I always check the ingredients and these are actually really good had to get these biscuits as well or whatever they are like little what are they like little coffee biscuits like the Italian ones they're always good because these have got no oils in either they look like an old um like original brand how lovely is the packaging how lovely oh, I Santa. did yeah, I honestly did buy these biscuits oh, wait, because of the packaging El and Santo. Christmas is coming. El Santo. El Santo. Maybe they're like a Christmassy um, thing. But how nostalgic. And just because the grapes doesn't mean you can eat them, you know, because it is nearly tea time. Ooh, look. So the M&S food bag, the reusable bag, we brought this over to France with us when we moved over, right? So like four years ago. So maybe we've had it five years because we had it obviously before we came. And it has just, on this shopping trip, just broke. Look at that, the handle's ripped. So, M&S reusable bags. Oh good. Oh good, yeah. It's definitely stood the test of time. It's lasted, I mean it could be five years this. Definitely four years. Yeah reusable bag and honestly we use this on almost every single shopping trip. R.I.P. M&S bag. Yeah, R.I.P. M&S bag. Bye bye. It was very good. We have however still got the M&S Percy Pig 
bag. How long do you have that? Shopping bag going. Now this one's a bit shorter because I did get this one on one of the trips back to the UK. Because I was like, oh look, Percy Pig bag, I've got to get that. So this one is still going. Yes. How long have we had that? Maybe, I don't know, maybe two years I'm guessing. Goodbye, my friends. Do you Go. like that shopping bag? Yeah. Would you having a little sleep on the shopping bag? Yay! Sugar's got Jealous. lipstick on her head. <laughs> From me. <laughs> Do you want some chicken gizzard? Hey, sit nicely. Do you want some gizzard? a little bit for you. Oh, that's so good for doggies. Where's Sylvia? Sylvia! Here she is. You want some chicken gizzards? Yay! Oh, nice doggies. Hey. Nice. Nice. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Let's go and get our little darling. She's just had a haircut. So I'm going to pick her up. She's going to be a clean, fresh, gorgeous smelling poochie. Show and show everybody. Human. Wow, you even feel lighter. Look at this beautiful little poochie. Sylvia's going to be so jealous. She's going to sniff you and say, where have you been? Where have you been? You've been to the salon without me. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, honestly. Fresh cut. She's like a like a real teddy bear, aren't you? Oh, and the smell. Did you have a nice time? Did you have a nice time? Did they cut your neck? Oh, fresh paws too. Fresh paws. Yeah. Shall we go? Shall we go home? We have got lots of cleaning to do. All ready for the Christmas decorating. You're all ready for Christmas. The next time you go there might be just before, I think it's going to be the new year now for you. And actually, speaking of haircuts, I was thinking about my hair. Go on on there, nice little towel for you there, look. Because mine is desperate for a cut, to be honest. I don't know if you remember, but I think it's like, oh gosh, yeah, this will be two years, like this month or in December, two years. I um, went to a salon over here and I had like lots of bleach highlights. I was going every couple of months for bleach highlights and this one time, I think, I'm, I'm not 100% certain, well, I kind of am, the bleach got left on for too long and honestly so much of my hair broke off and I didn't realise straight after the appointment, it wasn't till like after washing it a few times myself because I think it just continuously kept breaking off and honestly I had short bits like up to here when I stretched my hair out there was loads of broken bits so it put me off going to the salon and I've honestly not been to a hair salon in two years yeah I think it's two years in December I just thought I'm taking it into my own hands I'm just going to give myself little like trims when it needs it I have had colour on my hair but I've done it myself just bits um but my point is, it's ready for a cut. Even though I like it long, the bits that were short now have grown out and it's all like different lengths at the bottom. I do snip it off myself a little bit, but it is ready for a full shape and sort out. So rather than doing it before Christmas, because I might not like it, it might be too short, I might be like, oh, 
rather than doing it before Christmas when I've got plans, I'm going to be seeing friends, family, going out, doing stuff, enjoying the festive season. I don't want it to spoil that. So I'm going to wait till the new year. Go and get a good cut. I've got a styling mind. And um, then if I'm not keen on it, I can, you know, not worry. We don't have much plans in January anyway, so it'll be fine. So that's my plan, guys, but it's rather long now. Just needs a good sort out. It's very uneven. I think one side's longer than the other, stuff like that. But you're all perfect, aren't you? Hey, I think we should give Sylvia a bath now. The reason Sylvia's not gone, I don't know if I've said on this vlog, is because she doesn't really need a cut or anything like that. She's quite low maintenance. She just has a bath and I'll send her um, every now and then for a nails cut and just a bum done and stuff like that. But she didn't need to go at the minute, so. Just you. Du, du, du. Look at that. What's happened, Sylvia? Hey, what's been happening in here? So yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick blast in here. We've got stuff everywhere. See what I mean? Like put away piles, socks, pants, tea towels, bits like that. And then I need to go through what needs ironing. A lot of this has actually already been ironed. Um, yeah. Ooh, this, I got this the other day as well from Nancy in Sephora. Started the Christmas shopping, guys. She loves all the little skincare-y bits. She adores these sprays, these Sol de Janeiro um, sprays, and she hasn't got the 40. So I managed to get the 40 in Sephora, so that's going to go away for Christmas for her. And then she really wanted the vanilla flavour in the Laneige, Laneige uh, lip sleeping mask. She's got the, I think it's the berry one that she got for her birthday. And she likes it. It's like a sleeping, yeah, it's a lip sleeping mask, basically. So we've got the vanilla. So two little stocking fillers to go away. First bit of Christmas shopping done. Went into a few shops when I was in Cannes as well. And one of them was mango. Some gorgeous bits in mango. I very nearly purchased a few items. And then I thought, no, don't do it when you're squeezing it into a dance run. No time to try on. Like, I don't do it often enough, so I need to thoroughly enjoy it. So I either go on like a day to the shopping centre when the kids are at school and just treat myself and try on and whatever, or do a big online order so I can try on in the comfort of home and return what I need to return. But, oh, they just had some beautiful bits, you know, like really nice daytime bits. Like nice daytime, not like this daytime like nice festive season, like quality knits and quality jumper dresses and some really nice coats. They had this gorgeous bottle green, like short fur coat, which was like edged in black with these chunky black buttons. Oh, it was nice. It was nice. I'm going to scroll online later just to... I might put some things in the basket later. Yeah, I'll link some of my favourite pieces down below so you can see because, yeah, I was really impressed with mango. Do like mango. Nice quality daytime, high street fashion, mid-range price pieces. Here's what I've been doing. So, useful tip, costs nothing, and you can do it in your own home. I saw Davinia Taylor doing this on her Instagram. So get like a broom or a, you know, mop, something that you can take the end off. She uses like a metal bar, I think. And then, I'm pretty sure, this is what I've been doing anyway, I can't remember, might be completely wrong. So just bring it up and get it behind you and just really like 
stretch your arms out and do that start wide if it's easier to start wide which it is you can get it all the way and then go more in as you go along and just get it behind you and just stretch your arms basically put it out in front of you you can put it side just opens all this chest up here a good morning stretch that'll stop you feel it actually works because I do get quite tight as well and I can get quite rounded shouldered if I'm not careful I think we all can from like sitting on our phones and slouching so it just really like opens you up and stretches you out and it's free and you can do it at home when nobody's watching I saw that side. I kept dodging certain items like shirts and it's empty. Show me a clean face. Does it feel nice? No, wow, Sylvia, oh. look at you. Look at you all clean. Are you happy? Oh, yay. We just need to brush ya. Okay, the rail arrived from Amazon. Now the box feels extremely light, which chunkier. is quite worrying. It looked chunkier on Amazon. It did look really like a sturdy rail on Amazon. We went for the sturdiest, but the box is so light, so we'll see what we get. Yeah, it doesn't sound sturdy. Oh dear. Did you read the reviews? Oh, they look like thin poles. How much was this rail? How much was your rail? The one that Nancy's using? Mm. Uh, something similar, maybe even less, and I don't think that's a bad one. This might be, it might be one of those things that's really strong when it's put together, you know? Yeah. Let's go, how long do you think it'll take me? Mm, seven and a half minutes. 17.59. Right you not set a stopwatch on there. 17... Right, it's 18 now. <laughs> Six o'clock on the dot, yeah? Yeah, I said seven and a half minutes. Well, you haven't said what you think. Oh, um, probably nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Because I've got a lot of screw in here, look. Thirteen minutes. Solid as a rock. 
The verdict is... It's flimsy rubbish. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, honey. I think it'll be all right. Oh, hon. It's not the best, is it? No. It's definitely not the one that they show you in the picture. Yeah, I don't think they'll be getting a great review. No, I don't think we'll leave a link in the uh, <sighs> description box for this one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, what makes it sturdier is that it's a nice broad base. But it's, yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. It's not great. I wouldn't put your coats on there. I'd maybe use that for your coats and then put your lighter stuff on yeah, this one. Yeah, shirts and stuff. I like my jackets. I like your jackets. That's really old man. What is? That one. No wrong with old man style, babes. What's that blue one? That blue silky one. Yeah, satin. Not old man, is it? Look, I've got a collection of satin jackets. Let's put these country ones here. Checked and checked. It smells like Sol de Janeiro. Oh, wait. That would be your daughter. Yeah. She's obsessed. Which one have you got on today, darling? 68, but I didn't put it on tonight. Very strong. Oh, we like the blue velvet. We love the blue velvet. Put that one next to the blue. That blue. Oh, sir. What a fine jacket collection you have there, sir. I, I do, yes. It's wow. A shame. Good morning, another day, the sorting continues, actually getting my car cleaned very shortly and then when that's done we're going to take a few boxes to storage, even though we've got rid of our storage units, we are actually keeping some things still in Brian's brother's basement, Uncle Jono's basement because he's living at a villa that's got a huge basement which meant that we could give our storage units up and We've got a few bits there, like the Christmas decks and stuff like that, which is super handy. Um, so we're going to take a few bits there and actually pick oh, the Christmas decorations up. Ready for decorating tomorrow. Which, obviously, I will be vlogging. Sorry, I'm not going to be sharing it on this one. We've just gone way over time. Um, and this one was a whole just get sorted, cleaned, ready, get in the mood. So it's been a super like organising few days. That washing and ironing and ooh, ooh, all that took way longer than planned. Um, I've just been doing like a bit of a stew in the slow cooker. My best friend at this time of year. So I've just chucked a load of veggies in there. Turnips, carrots, parsnips. There's loads yeah. of stewing steak in there. Spices, all sorts. Just throw it all in and it comes out a treat later. Did you want the inside of your car cleaner? Oh, it's still <laughs> coming in. Oh, That's don't gonna think. Be that when the brushes get it. I don't think soft chops are meant to go in here. They are, it's just um, because you've got that gap. Look. Do you think we're going to feel Christmas ready after this? <laughs> yeah. That was the plan. How, why do you get in your car clean do like Christmas ready thing? It's just like the uh, ultimate organisation, like clean doggies, a clean car, clean home, clean mind and then it's like Christmas decks are like the cherry on top, mm. you know? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's like when you go on holiday and you prepare all everything for when you get back. So yeah. it's just easy. Just, just makes it all better. I'm a bit worried about this. This one's much more aggressive. It's just a, just okay. a trickle. Okay, back seat. Maybe more than a trickle. Rescue it. No, don't, don't put, it's bad luck. Sure. Don't pull the brolly up in the car. Oh. 
look. That is there bad you go. luck. That is really bad luck, Ryan. That's bad luck. There's no such thing. Get it down. Oh, Jesus, look at that. That's going to be wet for ages. Good old Italian engineering. I can build a car. It's that little gap look at the top of my window. It's a ventilation gap. Every car's got one. Do you think we're organised enough, ready for <gasps> decorating for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, honestly, haven't stopped for two days. Cleaning, washing, sorting. The back room is now sorted. You've got your ray all, all sorted out in there, haven't you? Dad's yeah. got his. We've got some clear space. Honestly, not stopped. Even my car is cleaned now. Like, we couldn't be any more ready. So, we're going to head over to Uncle Jono's, pick up the Christmas trees and Christmas decorations. Nancy's convinced that her tree's going up tonight. We will see. But we're all ready for decorating in the next vlog. So I hope this has inspired you to get organised too. Because it feels so much better once you just get on with it and get it done. Before you even think about getting those decks out. Deck the holes with bells with Holly la 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 I think it's fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. No. Da 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 da. We are going. Thank you for spending this time with us. We're going to love you and leave you and we will see you in the next one.